hello welcome and welcome back to another video of fruity in the kitchen today we'll be making some mandazi bites and as you can see i've already started adding the ingredients that we'll be using we will need two cups of water pure water for this recipe some sugar for me I used either four teaspoons or five teaspoons of sugar you can add the amount that is more suitable for you you can either add less or more sugar than me. For me, I guess I used four teaspoons. Stir the mixture for the sugar to dissolve in your water. Here you're just stirring sugar in water. Those are the only two ingredients that we have I have added so far. Keep stirring the mixture for the sugar to dissolve. Here, most of the sugar had already dissolved. There were just very, very few particles at the bottom that are not dissolved. I then added a pinch of salt to my mixture. But at this point, I didn't start again. I left the salt to dissolve on its own. I went to the next step of adding two cups of wheat flour. I used self-freezing wheat flour. I didn't want to add some baking powder. And after adding the wheat flour, I went ahead and mixed, mixed up the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients to make my bites do. My, my mandazi bites do. They can be bites, they can be mandazis, whichever way you want to call them. I kept mixing up until I decided to use my hands to knead the mixtures and to make a smooth dough. I had to use my hands. I could, I couldn't use my spoon. I kept kneading off camera and at this point I decided to add some margarine. You can use butter or margarine. I used Prestige, the one that is vanilla flavored because I didn't want to add any vanilla essence. I added my margarine and continued to knead my dough. And when the dough became a bit sticky, I had to add some more flour to make the dough less sticky so that I could keep on kneading without any issues. When I was done, I needed to cover my dough and leave it to rest. You can use the cling film that I've shown you. Or if you can just choose a bowl that has a lid so that you can cover your dough in this bowl and leave it to rest for 30 minutes to one hour yes you can use a bowl as i've shown you or you can use this clean film to cover your dough for 30 minutes to one hour you just cover your dough so well and leave it to rest don't leave it in an open container for better results he heat is after 30 minutes i needed to heat my oil so that i could start the deep frying process the last process in making my bites here is the dough after one hour you can see some few changes i don't know whether you can notice but for me i noticed i will usually notice changes and i had to oil my hands before i could start deep frying I had to make some balls for the deep frying purposes. That's why I had to oil my hands to avoid the dough sticking on my hands. I, at this point, I started making some balls. Because I wanted some ball shapes. Yes, here are my balls for the first round. 
and he is my deep frying oil but you have to check whether it's hot enough use a wooden to pick or a wooden splint to check whether your oil is hot enough when you see some bubbles around the wooden splint it means that the oil is hot enough for deep frying the next step is to deep fry i love flattening these circles so that it can be easier for them to cook well at the center the middle use the same process for all the circles for all the bolts flattening them before deep frying before deep frying them keep adding until you feel that you have added enough for that round and once they are golden well golden on top you can start removing them remember to use moderate heat here i'm using a serviette at the bottom of my bowl to absorb all the excessive oil from the bites yeah that's the serviette here i had already finished up my dough of the camera and this one my last batch to cook as you can see they were crispy on the outside and so soft on the inside and that's how uh, we love them here but if you want to take them soft you can leave them covered overnight and the next morning they will be so soft even on the outside keep adding and removing from the deep frying oil using the same process that i've shown you make the circles press them so that at the middle they can get ready well deep fry let them cook well and turn golden brown then remove them this at this point this was my last batch the four of them are my last batch and here are the ready bites ready to be eaten yes thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe